An 8.8 magnitude earthquake hit Russia and it has triggered tsunami warnings across the Pacific Ocean. Hello and welcome to Drishti IAS. My name is Saloni Nanthuliar and today we will look at the news and also understand how prepared is India to deal with disasters like tsunami. So this earthquake which had a magnitude of 8.8 .8, it struck near the Kamchatka Peninsula which is in Russia's far east. So this is the peninsula and this was the epicenter of our earthquake. And this earthquake, it triggered tsunami majorly in the northern Pacific Ocean. But warnings have also been issued for Hawaii, Alaska, Japan and New Zealand. In fact, the strongest wave of 50 centimeters was reported at Ishinomaki port, which is in Japan. So this earthquake occurred in the Pacific Ocean in a subduction zone, which means that the North American plate and the Pacific plate, they collided with each other and the Pacific plate subducted. So this created a subduction zone, an earthquake occurred and this in turn triggered tsunami for the Pacific Ocean region. And if we look at the countries that have been affected so far, first and foremost obviously is Russia because the epicenter was here, 119 kilometers away from the city of Petropavlovsk Kamchatsky. Japan also we saw that a 50 centimeter high wave was seen at one of the ports. Hawaii also some evacuation happened. Oregon and US West Coast some waves were expected. And Philippines and New Zealand even though not directly affected up until now. But some warnings have been issued for unusual currents and dangerous waves. So this means that the entire Pacific Ocean right now is at a risk of tsunami. And the tsunami has been triggered by an earthquake. Now let us understand what do we mean by a tsunami. So tsunami is made up of two words and they mean harbor waves. So tsunami basically is a series of waves that is created due to a sudden displacement of water. And this sudden displacement can happen due to multiple reasons. The first and most common one is an earthquake. This is what we saw in today's news also that an earthquake triggered tsunami in the Pacific Ocean. Second can be a volcanic eruption, an underwater volcanic eruption. Third can be your landslides, submarine landslides. So all these reasons can cause a sudden displacement of water and large volumes of water like huge columns of water. They can be displaced from one place to another and when they reach the shore, they cause a severe destruction of life and property. This is what happens in tsunami and if we look at the characteristics of these tsunami waves to understand why this destruction happens, first is that they are very long waves which means that the wavelength is very high. Second, they are very fast so the speed is also very high. And third is that they are very high so the height is also very high. They are very long waves, they are very high and they, have, they travel with a very fast speed. That is the reason that they cause a lot of destruction when they reach the shore. So this is how dangerous a tsunami can be. Now if we look at the tsunami situation in India, so the tsunami prone areas in India, you'll notice that out of the 7516 kilometer coastline that we have, 5700 kilometers is right now vulnerable to cyclones and tsunami. This tells us that we are at a very high risk of tsunami. So we need to be prepared to deal with such situations at any time. So what do we have for that? So our tsunami preparedness journey, it all started in 2004. If you recall, we were hit by a very bad tsunami in 2004. So states like Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu and even the Andaman Nicobar Islands, they were badly hit by a tsunami. And that time the problem was that India was not prepared to deal with such a situation. We did not have any early warning systems. We did not have a tsunami preparedness system. So that is the reason that we faced severe losses at that time. But India learned its lessons. And in 2007, we developed the Indian Tsunami Early Warning System or ITEWC to help us with the warnings of tsunami. So much so that this ITEWC right now is acting as a tsunami service provider for the entire Indian Ocean region. So it is not only providing early warnings for tsunami to India, it is also helping out all the countries in the Indian Ocean region. So it is acting as a tsunami service provider. This is a big achievement for India. Then we also have the DART system, which is Deep Ocean Assessment and Reporting of Tsunami. This again is an early warning reporting system. 
here we have a sonar meter which is at the ocean bed so if it gets any uh, if it gets any unwanted waves any unexpected waves it sends it via acoustic signals to this surface buoy and this sends it back to the satellite and the satellite sends it to the tsunami warning system and then it reaches us so this is a tsunami warning system that india has it is getting robust by time and in fact india right now is the fifth most advanced tsunami prepared country what are the other four so we have us japan chile australia and then india which has the fifth most advanced tsunami warning system so all these are major achievements from for india we have learned our lessons from 2004 tsunami and now we are moving in the right direction but as a way forward there are a lot more things that need to be done as a way forward we need to follow the ndma guidelines where we need to do proper risk mapping early warning system coastal zoning elevated infrastructure so that our infrastructure is also prepared uh, protected community preparedness where we can have public awareness campaigns where we can teach our people to deal with such tsunami situations we can have evacuation drills and institutional frameworks for better policies and planning so all these things combined together can help india achieve even better results when it comes to preparing for dealing with tsunami so that was all for today's video i hope you understood everything now let us practice a question for prelims consider the following statements itewc was designated a tsunami service provider for the entire indian ocean region two dart buoys are used to detect pressure changes on the ocean floor three the 2004 tsunami led to the establishment of the indian tsunami early warning center select the correct answer 1 and 2 only 2 and 3 only 1 2 and 3 Please provide your answers in the comment section and we will meet in the next video. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.